Welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Hard and Uncut, and we are uh, well. We're on the pause screen, so we should really, we should really fix that. We should resume this fight. So we are in orbit with uh, Semon Semon yeah, Senok Senok Worst Kerman. I should really know that name. You've been sat doing nothing for like the entirety of the first nineteen episodes, pretty much, and and now you've achieved something. Well done. You're going to stay there. So. What I'm actually going to do is just check we are in orbit. So we're going to jump back to the Space Center because our mission today is to rendezvous with that craft. Now, I had an interesting thought, which is or was. Um, the craft we've designed for this, we're going to send another one up, obviously. Going to not change it. I wonder if we've got any contracts for tourists that would actually do that. What have we got? Orbit Kerbin. Oh, good. We could do that. That's a orbit around Kerbin. Orbit around Kerbin. Oh, fight of Kerbin. Oh, that's good. We could do that one. Um... Orbit Kerbin, Suborbital Flight. Are they the same? They're pretty much the same. And then we've got the two ones. So let's do um, Orbit Round Kerbin, Suborbital Flight Kerbin. I think that's better for us, isn't it? We're just gonna, we're gonna just choose a VIP. Who do we choose? We choose um, MacFen or do we choose Milor, MacFen? Yeah, we'll choose MacFen. So we're gonna have you. Um, flight over Kerbin into suborbital trajectory of a Kerbin four tourists to their destination that's a that's a lot for going to the moon they're going fly by the moon fly orbit around Kerbin F there's lots of random stuff there I don't like that right anyway let's go and get this going so the reason I'm doing this is because well we need money but also it offsets us uh, rendezvousing in actual fact because this craft of course has a probe core on it that is right we have a probe core on it so it can get out of there, thank you. We don't have to risk our um, our actual Kerbal for this. We can put a tourist in, because they're free. Tourists are free, that's yeah, wonderful, right. And so this uh, runabout two, there we go, save you. And uh, we're gonna launch you straight away. So yeah, we've got a situation actually where this one, oh, you know what? That's a problem, I just realized. <sighs> I was gonna put solar panels on it, wasn't I? Because we now have solar panels, oh well. Uh, that's a mistake that we've made. Oh well, so we're gonna have to do this uh, as quickly and as efficiently as possible. All right, um, let's go. Launchy, launchy, muchy, muchy. Start to turn just a smidgen over. There we go. Hold it there. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we'll get the. Oh, I'd love this. We've got time, time to apoapsis. We've got time to periapsis. We've got our actual things showing up. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're gonna actually throttle down just a smidgen there. We don't need all that thrust, do we? Just ease that across there. We're just going to get it out of the, the thick stuff. There we go. We're going to hit the engines on to full now. They should have knocked each other out so that we don't have to worry too much. And now we're on, on board for the flight. And we're going to go through the atmosphere reasonably quickly. I'm actually going to pull the throttle down just a little bit. I want to save some of that fuel. So I've got Mac Fend Kerman on board, who is a tourist. And of course, this is a bit like the... Um, I was going to say it's a bit like the uh, the new Shepard flights, but it's not because there's not loads of them on there and it's not going straight up and coming straight back down. So nothing like the new Shepard flight. In fact, we're going to orbit. Um, yeah, so I, I thought this would be a clever idea, just, you know, while, while thinking to actually roll two contracts in one. Because this is a hard career, I thought, you know what, we need to actually start being, being a bit more smart with what we're doing and we can get multiple contracts done at once. Um, because we need to be saving money on these launches. These craft are actually not cheap. I think this one's like... 10,000 funds, so it, it's not really worth doing, 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 doing the, the the tourist contracts on their own as such, unless you're doing a big chunk of them. Um, but potentially it becomes more worth our wild um, if we uh, if we just do them uh, as part of something else. So now we know if we've got anything that needs to go to orbit, we can stick a tourist on it um, and do that. So for example, we had a you know get science from the some somewhere we could do that and now you know what i didn't do i didn't actually time my launch with this one so what we're going to do is we're going to pull our apoapsis up um, i'm going to uh, set as target actually right we're going to pull i need to disengage that there we go um there we are wonderful so what we're going to do is we're going to put ourselves up to about 100 and i don't know about 105 is fine um i will then circularize at our apoapsis and then we're going to do a few uh we're going to do quite a few orbits actually we're going to we're going to spin around and this is what i should have done is actually waited for this craft to come around to be about here so we're ahead of it and then we could have caught up and it would have been wonderful and and all those things but i did not do that so you know that's uh 
that's the things and, and whatnot. Right, let's have a look. I want to see the apoapsis of this. Right, so we right click on that to see it. Wonderful, yay. Um, I want this to be what? 100 and, 105 would be ideal. What is that one there? What is this, this guy? It's that thing. I need to actually get rid of that. You know what? We'll get rid of that. Goodbye. It makes life easier. All right, so we want to take this down to about 105. It doesn't really matter how how much it is, to be honest with you, as long as it's higher than the other one, uh, which it is. So we'll just do it like that. And uh, we'll pop back to here. We have, uh, let's check our electric charge. We are losing a little electric charge. Ah, now, do we use a lose electric charge on our probes when they time warp? That's going to be the interesting thing, isn't it? Yeah, we do. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is use, I don't have maneuver planning. Oh dear. Uh, this could be a this could be an uh, this could be an error this could be a big error in fact actually just thinking about it what i was going to do is, is time warp it but we're going to use a vast amount of electricity up if i do that um which will be problematic at best uh there we go right that will be problematic at best what have i got i've got limited probe control of course because we don't have a relay system so you know stuff and things not working properly uh can i just do I have control to do that? I can do some some control, I believe. I've got some some control. Have I? Or is it just fixed where it is? I don't feel as though I'm moving anything. That's interesting. Can I actually turn the engine off? Um There we go, that's enough. Right, we'll turn you know what? There we go, a bit more. Right. Can't get rid of the maneuver node. Okay. Uh let's timey wimey warp this. Now, that's a problem, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Now, I think there is a cheaty, right? There is a cheaty way to deal with this. This is going to keep going down. That one's going to keep going down as well. Um, unless <laughs> we may have a use for Cheaty McCheat. Where is the Cheaty McCheat gone? I can't find the Cheaty McCheat. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I don't want Debris. I want that one. Right, come here. Switch to, right. I don't know if the electric charge on those other craft will go down while we're doing this. If it does, we uh, we have a problem. If not, that's fine. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to look at this craft. We want this craft to be uh, just ahead of this one, is what we're actually looking for. So you see they're going to close up on each other. There we go. Yeah, it's closed up nicely there. So the gap's got bigger and now the, the chasing one's going to approach. We're going to slow it down a bit. You see... So this is our, our this one that's on the lower orbit. It's going faster. This one's going to drop down into its orbit. So we need it to be we need it to be ahead, basically, uh, because it's going to slow its orbit down. And we're going to try and guesstimate about. Ooh, let's see. It's gaining a reasonable amount each turn. So I don't know. Hmm, it's going to be an interesting one. I think we've got about six minutes left on this. There we go. That's it. That's where I want to. Mm, do I want to be? This is a bit like me being unguided, being without maneuver nodes. Um, yeah, there we go. Right now we're gonna jump to that. There we go. Let's let's hope that it's still got electricity. That is a little cheaty what I've just done, but I'm gonna live with it. I'm gonna live with it. Right. So let's have a look. Ideally, you do it in ascending or descending node. So let's try doing it, putting a maneuver node there. I do not have signal. Right, we need to run around until we get signal. Come on, give me signal. This is going to be problematic. There we go. Got signal. Right. I forgot about the need for signal. We could actually end up just bringing this craft back down because I need a pilot. That's a stupid, stupid move. Right. So we're going to bring this down. Oh, that's nice. What was that? That was an intersect of 12 kilometers. Okay. Can I make it less than that? Okay, so that's the lowest it will go. What if I do this? Um, pull that back a bit. I like the idea of doing my, my burn there, actually. So let's do a little bit of fiddling around here. So, uh, thank you. Right, I want to look at this. I'm now looking at the intersect cluster approach there. We're going to do a bit of that, close it in. Right, so that's as close as it's going to get. That's going the wrong way. So we could do a bit of this. 
that's going to take it only so far right I don't think they're going to get closer than that at that point so let us have a look what about one of these a bit of this a bit of, bit of poor no, normal anti-normal is that going to do us any good it shouldn't but it might uh, 23 no a uh, bit of that a bit of that no uh, no that's not going to help all oh, right this is interesting because normally I would actually get much closer with a oh, there's 7 point one six six point six five five point two okay maybe this is the way to be going three five four two one 157 meters okay I'm I'm happy to do that one right now the other thing is I'm going to orientate this craft while I have control but the problem about that is that I've noticed that KSP when there is multiple orbits to be had will drift just a smidgen so we need to be aware of that so let's uh, accelerate to this will I have signal when we get there that will be interesting no signal signal oh, I actually do have signal okay so this is this is potentially going to be okay right so let's have a look we're going to position ourselves so i can see the clock at the bottom there we have three minutes left on this one so i'm going to speed this up we're going to do a quick quick dirty burn all right i'm going to get this down to pretty much zero. Oh, actually you know what i might do the burn start the burn a little early there we go we're going to start the burn now and stop there we go all right we're going to do a little tiny thrusting no nope. oh there we go 200 meters can i get a, a little bit more 80 meters 63 meters 61 60 67 meters i'm happy with 67 meters okay right um then i want to set this to target and i'm gonna to have to manually manually go to this okay so we're gonna uh we're gonna to go to here to walk to there see our electric charge is going down and when we get into range of the other craft that's going to come down as well so we just need to basically kill our velocities right so let's just check this we need to have two different vessels in orbit of curving within visual range of each other and kill their relative velocity to achieve this goal okay so where's my where's my target you literally showed me it. there we are right so i need to be uh retrograde uh, i want to be the other way around i want to be on its its retrograde uh, yeah, I'm going to go backwards. That's what we're going to do. Right, I have stuff. So we're going to intercept in a minute. I have two minutes until this is up. So this is going to be a decent burn. You can see we've got a 37 meters per second to target now. I can actually, now because we're in time warp and we're close, it does this horrible thing whereby, yeah, it does that. That's just really annoying. So there we go. And I'm going to stop that. There we go. And we're going to do it again going to try and balance it out oh we've done it we have actually done it okay rendezvous two vessels that's close enough is it okay doke right um time to bring us back then so we're gonna de de go to orbit we're gonna put ourselves retrograde and we're gonna fire everything we have got right now there we go i'm going to put this into a physicky time warpsy there we go maximum attack we're just going to deorbit this craft that's what we're going to do we're just going to deorbit it Hold it like that. I don't even know if that's helping. Uh, I don't need the intercept. I actually want this thing here. Uh, there we go. I'm actually going to... That's not the best way of doing it. Right, we're going to decouple. Turn that off. Put this into normal mode. Now, I have killed a lot of velocity there, but we're still carrying quite a lot, so we're going to accelerate down. Um, at quite a pace, I'm guessing. Let's see how this is going to go. Uh, we can we can go a bit more physical on the time warp, I think. Yeah, there we go. Coming through, we should be getting aero effects. There we are. That should slow down nicely. We've got 30 seconds until I have to end this emission episode and everything else like that. We might actually get down reasonably close. It would be really nice if I could deploy the parachute at some point, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be really nice? It would be really nice if I could deploy the parachute at some point. Oh, it's already deployed. I did not set that to I didn't hit the I didn't hit the staging button on that. That's interesting. Um why did that deploy? 
Um, was it because we had no signal? I don't know. Uh, we're coming down, we've got seven seconds. And parachute should open soon. Oh, we should be in surface as well. And time is up, so I will see you next time, next episode. Until then, have a great one.